Out like if nobody scored or if all five scored, you then go to a sudden death shootout in which the first time a team is ahead by one after an equal number of shooters, your team would win. Again in the second shootout, if an arrow shoots and scores to start the second shootout, the Knights would still have an opportunity to match their first guy against your first guy. And if he scores, you go on to number two. And if he doesn't, it's over. That would be in the second sudden death shootout. In the first shootout, which is coming up here in just a moment, all five of your guys and all five of their guys are going to shoot. And at the end of that uh, shooting, we'll see who put more in the net. Now that's the good news, the arrows being in the shootout. Now the bad news. In Denver, they got four of the five to shoot, not one of them scored. So right. obviously, I, if you're a guy that plays the percentages, you'd like to think they're going to do it here. Well, yeah, that's true. But on the other hand, I think John Paris in coaching Atlanta here late in this hockey game, uh, maybe not so much once they got the power play, the five-minute power play on the St. Cyr penalty late in the game. But prior to that, if I'm him and I'm on the road, I'm thinking to myself, i got some sharp shooters. I'm not sure the Arrows have shooters, and they've got to be pressing a little bit after going 0 for the night in Denver on the on the shootout. i got some guys like Julia that I can I think can score. Edgerton, although he has since left injured, a rough that I think can score. Uh, those kind of guys I think can, uh, can score, at least I would if I was uh, Paris. Actually, it was uh, Eglin that uh, was it Eglin left injured. Well, they, actually, Edgerton was injured, but they brought him back. Oh, did he, he come back? He came back. All right. So I, if I'm Paris, I'm thinking I got some shooters, I got some scores. I would take my chances in overtime, and whether that's what he was thinking or not, they're in OT now in a shootout, and we'll see what happens. Now, for those of you, this just moves right along. They go one shooter after another. It's pretty exciting. Chris Ferraro will start it. He'll move it from left to right. Chris Ferraro will pick up the puck and away. He will come as he crosses the blue line. Ferraro, ready to go. Shoot, Gable to save. closes the pillows, and that'll turn the puck over now to the Houston Arrows. And who will shoot? It will be Murray Eves who will do it one-on-one -on -one against Neil Wilkins. And I guess it's only fitting with a game like tonight. It comes down to the goalie. We'll Here. pick it up at center ice. Here comes Eves as he crosses the blue line. We're trading a goal. Deep shoots. Go! in his career. Here comes Salavanoff as he crosses the line. Right in on goal. Deep shoots. Scores! Alexander Salavanoff. And we're tied at one in the shootout. Very similar. Took it to the backside. Went top shelf. Now we'll see Scott Arneal. Here is Arneal as he will move it from right to left. Arneal with the puck. We're in the shootout as he crosses the line. Arneal goes in. Deep shoots. Great save by Wilkinson. And the now tied at one and we're even at shooters is shooter number three now Stan Julia and as you say Russ a 54 goal guy last year this would be a great matchup between him and Troy Gamble he can score we have seen him uh, earlier on with uh, in the game with a good backhander or two but with backhanders being prominent here in the shootout, I bet she sticks with the forehand. Let's see, Julia brings the puck in now for the Atlanta Knights. Julia in on goal, deep shoot, gamble the right pad save. And indeed he did, came in the left side with his right-handed shot, which means he had the puck on the goal side of his body and tried to give a wrist shot on the forehand side and Gamble made the save. Are you one for poetic justice? Here's a guy with two goals tonight, Clayton Young. Young with the puck, crosses the line. Here is Young, deep, shoots. He... Nope. Oh, he missed it. I thought he went upstairs. I thought he tucked it in there. No, he just missed it. And he keeps it at a 1-1 tie here in the shootout. Boy, he shot that so high and so hard. I thought maybe he caught the top shelf, but just missed it. Here is Peter Ferraro. Ferraro crosses the line. Peter Ferraro in on goal. Wait, shoot, Gamble the save! And it all comes down to the final arrow shooter. 11-year NHL veteran Dave Tippett. If he scores, the arrows win. And he misses, we go to sudden death. Here comes Tippett for the arrows. Tippett crosses the line. He's in. Wait, shoot, to the save made by Wilkinson. And we go to sudden death. Everybody standing, 15,000 plus here at the summit. And now 
it is Devin Edgerton. He'll give it a go against Troy Gamble. Edgerton now as he bears down on the pot. Edgerton will cross the line. Edgerton in on goal for the night. He deep shoots and a great hook that Troy Gamble. Yes, indeed. And now it comes down to Mark Freer. And he is one on one with the Oakinson. Here comes Freer now. He can win it right here for the Arrows. Freer in on goal. He waits, shoots, and a great save by Wilkinson as he stacks the left pad, blocking that Freer shot. And they'll go to sudden death once again. You haven't tried. <laughs> Starting to run out of good goal scorers there. Well, here's a good one. Alan Eglin, last three seasons with the Tacoma Rockets in the Western Hockey League. Has uh, a good chance to be the hero here. Here comes Alan Eglin now as he crosses the line for Atlanta. Eglin in on goal. He waits. He shoots. And a great save by Gamble. Now well, we are in the sudden death. And at this point, if the Arrows, Mario Gineroni, who enters the ice right now, scores, the Arrows win the shootout. Here is Gineroni now as he crosses the line. Gineroni, he's in on goal. He waits. He shoots. And he missed the net. Made the great move. He went upstairs and missed the net. Oh, boy. And we move on to the seventh shooter for either hockey club. And now you start getting into the defenseman here pretty quick. Well, I got to say this. The, uh, the Atlanta Knights have put shots on Troy Gamble. The uh, Arrows have missed the net on seven occasions. Here's Aaron David now for the Atlanta Knights. Crosses the line. He waits. He shoots. And he missed the net. Made a nice move. He got Gamble to go down, but he missed the net. And now it comes up to the rookie, Mike Yo. I'll bet you he takes a quick one, not too quick. And I'll bet you he doesn't try to keep all the way into the crease. He's going to try and catch it here now as Mike Yo, 21 years of age, as he crosses the line. Mike Yo, he's in on goal. Wait, shoots, and a nice save by Wilkinson. Not the best of moves there. He tried to sneak one by him. And pretty good save there as this is now the eighth round. And Jason Ruff will be the man for the Atlanta Knights. We have had 10, 11 misses in a row. Here come the Knights. It is Jason Ruff. Cuts to his right, moves in. He waits, shoots, and Gamble the save. Hey, you know what? Just let Troy Gamble go down and try to score. He may have to, I, but it comes down to Graham Townsend from Jamaica. Kingston, Jamaica. Graham Townsend with an assist tonight. And he'll try to be the man. He can win it here. Townsend crosses the line. He's in on goal. He waits. He shoots. He scores! Wins it in a shootout. Arrows win the hockey game 3-2. And there's sold-out crowd pandemonium as the Arrows pick up their first win in the franchise. He waited for Wilkinson to commit. Townsend, the veteran that he is, didn't get over anxious. He waited. And after Wilkinson committed, he slid the puck underneath him on a forehander. And after 12 straight misses in the shootout, Jim Townsend hit and got death and gets the arrows to win. And the crowd is loving it. Tonight. It's the Houston Arrows defeating the Atlanta Knights 3-2, and that does it for game action. When we return, we'll wrap things up. Fourth seed, the Arrows win it. We're back right after this. The power. Good punishment.